Hey guys, welcome to JLEG 3D. So today we're going to be working on another smooth transition, kind of like last time, but a little bit different. So let's go ahead and make uh, a rectangle. It's going to be 500 by 100 millimeters. Uh, it doesn't have to be specifically the size. I'm just using this as a reference to get a rectangular shape slab type of thing. Because what we're going to do is we need to fill it, this edge, but we want to keep uh, something on the bottom. So what we need to do first is chamfer. And then once we do this fillet, see, we have that chamfer stay on the bottom. Well, actually it keeps it as a straight face, which is exactly what we're looking for. So what we need to do in this case for you to follow the steps is chamfer both sides, approximately 80%. And then we select that and we fillet it how we see fit so I like to leave the top uh, portion open just so you can undo or edit later which typically if you combine them two you would not be able to so now that we have that we no longer need this specific sketch we can delete it okay after that we can offset this specific shape right here uh, 10 millimeters is absolutely fine and we're going to continue that up so we can close our sketch. Then we go to the side. We extrude this 500 millimeters because that's how long our shape was. And then we go to the bottom, double tap to sketch on that face. And we need to draw a 45 degree line because this is going to be a diagonal sort of shape. So we want it to be perfect. So we're going to go ahead and make a line here that's 707.1068 we're going to go to transform and pattern and we're going to align the arrows and I can remember that number 707.1068 so this is where good memory comes in play and we're going to do approximately 50 yes this is going to look nice and then we need to hide our bodies and then we can delete that sketch and then we double click this square to delete that as well because we don't need it don't forget guys to close your sketch because sometimes I forget and then I have to undo to get back to that point um, now that we have our sketch closed we go ahead and select every other rectangle or shape that we want to extrude so sometimes this is a bit of manual labor, but it's worthwhile in the end, especially if you have it perfect. Um, once we have all of them selected, we change our angle and extrude them up. Doesn't matter how much, as long as it covers that space. Now, remember that uh, offset buddy. Actually, let me go ahead and just go ahead, select all of that and make a folder so that we can Go ahead and hide that easier but remember this body right here what we need to do is use the intersect tool together with this because the thing is once if you select everything and you go here and you look where is sorry where is the intersect tool even if you click more it does not show up so what we need to do is click tools intersect and then we can select everything and we need to go back here and select that one again because it makes everything purple. And we click done and we have our pattern. Okay, so now we can hide the sketch. We no longer actually need it, so we can even delete it. But then we unhide our body. And as you can see, we have our shape. But how do we blend it? So usually we use the loft tool to blend things, right? But in this case, See, the reason why we have that specific shape is we replace the face with this one. We click done, and we have a blended blended grip. So check this out, guys, in Visualizer. Let me select everything, and we just make it white so we can see it better. But look at this grip. It's a nice, smooth transition. So you go from rough grip over here to a soft grip and you can continue this shape as you know it's a circle so technically you can continue the shape and these ones as well you 
can even do a lot of crazy things. But the point being that you have a blended shape. In the end, all you have to do is union if you're ready to do that. And another additional step you can take if you want is you can select, don't double click it, but anyways, select the edges and you can make it smooth or chamfered or filleted. Let's see what we can do with that. So that's already looking really gorgeous. Look at this. This is just great. Um, and you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to make this extra step just to see how it looks. Because actually, I really like that stuff in the beginning. And let's see how it blends with the corner piece. That's actually going to be interesting. So we have reached our limit here, as you can see, because it doesn't want to do that. Huh. Well, guys, this is what the undo button is for. Let me just show you before we union. <laughs> so what we can do here is let's do some more manual labor. And I don't know if I already said this, but if you hear me slurring my words or saying something funny it's because I haven't slept in two days so welcome to the ride but even when I'm super tired I still enjoy doing CAD because it's super fun for me and almost there let's go ahead and do let's do negative 10 because I saw that work before. Um, all right, so as you can see, it's a sharp blend there. So let's go ahead and now union everything together. And not only we, not only do we have a sharp transition, we also have sharp edges. So this is a very unique opportunity here for you guys to learn how to do something like this. So if we go to the side, you see it all keeps the same shape, right? That rounded part. But there's the grapey part and there's the soft part. So this it was a bit longer than I expected just because I showed you that you can sharpen those edges. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned how to do something really cool because I know that this is a really cool model. And if you just follow this process, you can learn a lot of models with the same process. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to, don't forget to come back for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Here at J Lake 3D, our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more. See you again soon.